What do we mean by saying? 1 volt, 100 volts, 220 volts, etc. Let first define 1 volt. According to Charles Augustine, the Coulomb's law, or Coulomb's law, two electrically charged particles interact each other by exerting a mechanical force between them. This force may either be attractive or repulsive in nature. If both the particles possess charges of same type, then the force is repulsive. And for opposite charges, it is attractive. Suppose a huge electrical charge containing a total electrical charge of Q Coulomb is placed here. Then theoretically it can exert force to any charged particle, wherever the particle be. But practically intensity of its electric field is restricted within a few meters. Now if you have a point particle carrying an electrical charge of plus one Coulomb far away from the huge charge particle Q and if you wish to place it at a nearby point of the huge charge Q suppose at that particular red point then what you need to do first to answer this question consider the conditions well two situations may arise because the charge Q can either be a positive one that is plus Q Coulomb or a negative or minus Q Coulomb in the first case, let the huge central charge of Q be positive. And thereafter, we shall discuss the second situation when the central charge is negative. Let's see the first situation. Since both the objects carrying a positive charge, therefore a repulsive force is acting between them. You have to apply a certain amount of energy to place the one Coulomb particle to the desired red point. Why this application of energy is necessary? Because the force acting on the one Coulomb particle is outward. As you're pushing the point charge against the outward repulsive force, you are actually performing a mechanical work. Coulomb's force is directed radially outwards, and displacement is radially inwards. Hence, the force and the displacement are along a straight line. Thus the work done is force into displacement. But there is problem in calculating the work done. The Coulomb's force is not uniform at all places. Its value depends on the distance from it. The force is higher at a closer distance and zero at infinity. These green buildings may give you a very good approximation. Near the charge, a higher building indicates a higher value of Coulomb's force. As you start going away, you could see low height buildings indicating a low magnitude Coulomb's force. To simplify the calculation, let us divide the whole path of displacement into some segments. They are of lengths R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, etc. We have made a total 15 numbers of segments. A shorter segment can bring an accuracy in calculation but at a cost of a huge number of segments. Let the average value of the repulsive force throughout the path R1 is F1. And throughout the path R2 is F2. And throughout the path R3 is F3. And so on. Then work done on the path R1 is CW1 which is equal to minus F1 into R1. Minus sign arises for the fact that the force and the displacement are in opposite direction. Force is radially outward and the displacement is radially inward. Thus W1 equals minus F1 R1. Similarly for the path R2 work done W2 is equal to minus F2 R2. For the path R3 W3 equals minus F3 R3 and so on. Summing up all these small works, we get the total work for this displacement to be W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4 plus etc etc. Electrical potential phi is defined to be equal to minus the work done. Thus phi equals minus bracket W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4 plus and so on. 
then we get phi equals minus bracket minus f1 r1 minus f2 r2 minus f3 r3 and so on. Or phi equals plus f1 r1 plus f2 r2 plus f3 r3 and so on. A total of all your mechanical works are called the electrical potential at that red point. Thus, if your total work done is 1 joule, then the electrical potential at that red point is plus 1 volt. For a mechanical work of 100 joule, the potential is plus 100 volts. And so on. Now, let's take the second situation. The charges are opposite now. Since opposite charges attract each other, they too will do so. If you place the plus 1 coulomb point particle at rest at a point far away from the huge charge Q, the particle will start getting attracted towards the charge Q. And after some certain period of time, it will reach the desired red point. Thus, in this case, you need not to apply any force on it. The system itself will have done that work for you. The work is positive here. Because the force and the displacement are in the same direction. So, the total work is W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4 plus and so on. Or W equals F1 R1 plus F2 R2 plus F3 R3 plus and so on. Therefore, electrical potential at that point is minus bracket F1 R1 plus F2 R2 plus F3 R3 plus F4 R4 plus and so on. Or phi equals minus F1 R1 minus F2 R2 minus F3 R3 minus and so on. Note that in this second occasion, the electrical potential is negative. If the work done by the system is 1 joule, then potential is minus 1 volt. If the system carries out a 100 joule mechanical work, then the potential is minus 100 volts. And so on. Hope this video to be helpful in building a clear concept in you. See you in our next tutorial. Thanks for watching the video till the end.